Ah, oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today you join me in the fantastic game of Borderlands 2. Now, this is one of the most classical and original looter shooters, ladies and gentlemen. The premise being that you quite simply run and gun your way around the countryside of this fantastic planet, slowly and ever so slightly increasing your abilities. However, there are, of course, ways to manipulate such a process, and to do so in a way which might benefit you much, much more than actually playing the game the normal way. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be sitting down and demonstrating to you some of my absolute favorite exploits for Borderlands 2. Oh my goodness, they are wacky indeed. We're going to be seeing things like ridiculously fast and wacky movement speeds, as well as weapons which can do enough damage to shatter a planet in half. Either way, it's going to be wacky, it's going to be fantastic, and most importantly, we're going to be having you, the lovely ladies and gentlemen at home, along for the ride. So make sure you're sat back, you're relaxed, and hey, if you are one of the greatest human beings to ever exist, then you might have already given the video a like, and to that I say, hats off to you, you fantastic and lovely person. And now that we're all ready, we're all absolutely fantastic, and we've all commented about our cups of tea, I think it's time we dive right into this game as we show off some wacky exploits. So first, let's show off some infinite speed. So the exploit I'm going to be showing next, ladies and gentlemen, is a fantastic fantastic lovely little cheesy thing involving the commando class character in Borderlands 2. You see he has a special skill tree which involves the expertise skill here, which increases your weapon swap speed, aim speed, also your movement speed is increased while aiming. That's right, your movement speed increases by a whole 35%, making you all that more agile when it comes to running around the wasteland. However, thanks to some very suspicious consumption of tea, we've managed to make this effect stack on top of each other, resulting in a unique situation where I can run exceedingly fast. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, today I'm joined by my lovely friend Connor Brow here, who will be providing some of the much needed assistance in making this exploit possible. So quite simply, how this exploit works is all you need to do is aim down your sights, drop your current gun using whatever key you have assigned to it, and then force pick it up, all while aiming down sights. Then drop whatever gun you're holding and repeat. And every time we repeat this, our movement speed is increased by roughly 35%. Now, naturally, Naturally this can be kind of completely and utterly broken to many degrees because eventually we're going to hit speeds where our hitbox will no longer register with the enemies, making us effectively immune to bullets. However, this is just one of the many fantastical cheesy exploits that Borderlands has to offer. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there we go. Oh God, <laughs> oh, wow. Can you even see me anymore? My physical presence, do I have corporeal form? Right, so as you can see, we've managed to increase our speed rather impressively. How However, we can do it even more. I mean, what do we think the limit even is? The sky is the limit, as they say, ladies and gentlemen, and how fast can you go before the game says enough is enough and physically crashes the system? So that's exactly what we'll be aiming for right now. So let the exploitation begin. Oh god, I'm dead. Wait, in my revive scene, look how fast I am in the revive. <laughs> Oh, yes, please do revive me. For some reason, I've reached a point where if I just kind of like temporarily leave the ground for a second, that's it, I've taken off. Now, to get this exploit to work, you need to have a couple of things sorted ahead of time. You firstly need to have someone hosting the game. That's right, you can't be the game master yourself. You need a willing test volunteer subject and friend to do everything for you. The, oh god, the friend is dying. Oh god, I'm dying now, but don't worry. Even whilst dying, I'm actually rather fast. Now, beyond being the second person in the game, you also need to make sure that your backpack over here ladies and gentlemen, is completely full. That's right. Although actually I've been managing to do it without a completely full backpack. I'm not sure how that's working, but trust me, the game's fine. Now what you basically then need to do to repeat it is simply aim down your sights, drop your weapon, make sure you keep holding down the aim down sights key, then hold the E key so that you pick up the weapon and it auto equips itself and drop and repeat. It is as simple as that and quite frankly the system just works. So we've reached a point where it actually takes a couple of seconds for me to warm up to my maximum speed. Allow me to demonstrate demonstrate. Oh god. Oh no, what have we done to you, Borderlands? Oh god, don't fly. Oh, I almost fell off the map there. That would have been bad. But yes, if I go over a small mound now, I just immediately take off and start flying. This seems very good. I'm getting shot at, but I think I've reached a point where I'm actually outrunning most bullets. Right, so what I'm about to do is demonstrate a fantastic, lovely little race. Over here is the exit to the desert area which we find ourselves in. If you were to go over here, you would basically return to Sanctuary and have a lovely fun time. 
However, instead of doing that, I'm going to race from one end of this side of the map to the other, and I'll see how fast it takes. So, so for the whole purposes of science, myself and my lovely companion Connor are going to get to the entrances of the dust, and we're going to race through to the other side. So for the purposes of this race, we're going to be starting from the map exit over here, and be racing all the way over to the other map exit over here. However, my fantastic minion will be in a car, and I will only be using my legs. And you know what, as I'm feeling good, I'm going to give my lovely minion here a five second head start. On the count of one, or three, start your engines and go. Three, two, one, go. See you at the finish line. I'm gonna wait a nice five seconds to give Connor a good head start, and away we go. <laughs> okay, right, so the power of technology and vehicles versus just one very speedy boy. <laughs> and immediately, we've gone into the first place position, but don't worry, we're only halfway there. Okay, no, we've almost made it there. Have I overshot? Where am I headed? Oh, here it is, and there's the finish line. Fantastic. Here comes the vehicle. Still coming. He's still coming. There we go. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. A win for human beings with exceedingly fast legs. Well done. And sadly, no victory for you today, Connor. No cups of tea will be given. You must simply go hungry and starve. Ah, I've jumped into the midpoint of the video when you least expected me. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tis I, the Spiffing Brit, here to bring you a fantastic message from our sponsors over at Spiffco. Thanks to the fact that our fantastic channel managed to hit 700,000 subscribers, the Yorkscast has offered us a very very special deal. Until the end of August, all of our fantastic merchandise on store.yogscast.com will receive an extra 15% off using the ridiculously majestic discount code T700K. My goodness, it just works, ladies and gentlemen. So feel free to go online and grab yourself a mug which has a 9 in 10 chance of activating God Mode permanently. It warns Spiffco mugs are designed to only drink tea and consumption of tea is 100% mandatory. Placing any other liquid which is not tea will result in Spiffco merchandise to almost instantaneously explode. Loss of limbs, life, and just about everything else is not liable to the owners of such Spiffco merchandise, as it is simply their fault for supplying coffee into something which is 100%, 100%, 1000% designed only for tea. You have been warned. Now go enjoy a good cup of tea. And back into the video we go. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our fantastic Borderlands 2 adventures, where once again I'm joined by my minion, Connor Brow, as we've been experimenting with some wacky weapons. You see, upon reaching level 24, you're able to receive the Venture Morningstar weapon, which all you have to do is simply kill 100 bandits to receive. A very easy challenge to complete, however this is a very unique weapon, because upon doing critical damage, for some reason you gain like an increase in 20% damage to the actual amount this gun can do. Now this is of course a short modifier which doesn't last that long, so basically you land a headshot, you land another one and your damage is increased by 20%. This kind of makes sense and of course it won't last a long time, however what if there's a way to make the effect last forever? Well ladies and gentlemen, there is. All you have to do is simply land your headshots like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what you want to do is simply cycle the reload animation constantly. Now, depending on how high level you are, you'll need to do this for differing amounts. If you're super duper high level, to hit the damage cap, you might only need to do this about um, 100 times. If you're around about mid-level, maybe about 200 times. And if you're around about where we are, which is level 24, where you can start doing this, then you probably want to do this around about 500 to 1,000 times. It doesn't take that long, but basically, once we complete this, we are going to have weapons which have the ability to one hit the end game boss and of course we're only level 24. Some would naturally say that this is probably not meant to be a feature of the game, however fear not ladies and gentlemen, tis perfectly balanced as all things should be. Myself and my lovely minion have been sat down doing this for the last 15 or so minutes and we've managed to reach some pretty high statistics. You see on my gun here it is meant to do around about 857 damage, however if we managed to land a shot cleaning the head. As you can see, we did 4,000 damage, which is a little bit more than normal, however, we get another one and suddenly we've done 20,000 damage, and another and we're doing 35, and another, oh, it just keeps on going up, and 50,000, ah, there we go, 51,000, now 67,000. The best thing is it works with all guns as well. As you can see, this tiny pistol I have in my hand just did 10,000 damage to the target in front of me. This is a tiny pistol which is meant to do 74 damage, but of course, no, 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 it's now hitting for 10,000. But of course, how far can you take it? Well, you can take this all the way up to the damage camp if you want. You can ride this glorious weapon right the way up to 999k and basically shoot an entire
fly a hole through the planet. My oh my, it is a very powerful weapon indeed. So we'll see you back in a bit once we've cycled round this enough to the point where we can just about defeat every single enemy in game, despite the fact that we're only level 24. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we've continued our fantastic adventure when it comes to manipulating weapons. And as you can see, this gun here, which should be doing around about 857 damage, when you get your first hit does 4,000 damage, which is the normal critical headshot, then 157,000 damage. Ah, now that's when things start getting a little bit awry. Ooh, 200,000 damage! As you can probably guess, ladies and gentlemen, 200,000 damage is not a statistic you should be able to reach when you're only level 24 and most of your guns aren't even able to do a thousand damage instead we're doing almost a hundred thousand times more damage than really we should be doing which is an absolutely fantastic place to be in now of course you might be sat there wondering okay spiff look i've seen this process happen but what on earth is the step by step how are you doing this well how it works is you quite simply want to empty your first mag into the target practice like so it doesn't matter what damage you're getting it doesn't matter what level you are you just need the morning star you empty the mag in then when you're empty you go for the reload animation but before it ends you want to switch weapon to your next weapon now i strongly recommend only having two weapons selected and if you have anything else hanging around simply drop it you don't want it only have two weapons to make the cycling around easier equally to make the cycling around much much easier go into the key binding section and get rid of scroll wheel as weapon select instead bind it to something like page up and so every time you want to swap your gun simply double tap page up switch round back to the fantastic Morningstar sniper rifle and every time you do this your damage is slowly increasing. Now this can be done at any stage in the game and also it permanently remains meaning it doesn't just last on the Morningstar it also goes to your other guns and you could also start doing this process at say level 24 do a couple of missions come back at level 25 when you want it a bit higher and continue the process and provided you still have the Morningstar as a weapon in your inventory you can keep repeating this over and and over again. Now how this critical thing works is basically every time you get a critical hit you are slowly propelling yourself hundreds and hundred percents of multipliers up into the sky where eventually you will hit a fantastic cap of 999k damage. In fact I think it's 99999k or something like that. Basically something like a billion damage. At the moment we're quite low we're only doing around about 200,000 ish so we need to continue cycling until we get a little bit higher. Now to cycle you of course start the reload animation, switch guns and repeat for around about, I don't know, half an hour. But don't worry, yes, if you run out of ammunition or anything, you can just go grab some, you're not going to lose your progress, it stays forever, which is magnificent. Equally, you can stack the critical hits on the Morning Star and switch weapon to something completely different. For example, we have a pistol in our inventory which is meant to do 74 damage. Just 74 damage, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're going to make it do something completely different. First we land our critical hits with the Morning Star, fantastic stuff, and now we're going to switch weapon and suddenly we're doing 37,000 damage a hit with a revolver. Yeah, that is most definitely not something that you should be doing, my goodness. Now ladies and gentlemen, Borderlands 3 is on its way and honestly I'm wondering if maybe as a group of you who might be interested in seeing me play the fantastic Borderlands 3, if that is the case, give me a shout. The best way to tell me is to hop down into the comments section, maybe leave the video a like, my goodness you fantastic person. And you know what, I'll, I'll take a look into seeing if I can get a copy of Borderlands 3 early so that we can get some premium early access exploits because, whoa, you want to know what's better than normal exploits? Early access exploits where the game hasn't even been patched yet so you have the ability to phase through realms that don't even exist. My goodness. And I'm sure lots of exploits like this will exist in Borderlands 3 which makes it all the more fun to get access to it early. So yes, I'm sure if we tell those devs that, hey, there's a large group of you who want to see it, I'm sure we can end up getting it, yes. Honestly, part of me believes that this is the process that the Queen herself used to gain her infinite power and also fend off against the alien invasion of 2008. You might be sat at home thinking, but what alien invasion of 2008? And ladies and gentlemen, that's because you wouldn't know about it. You see, back in 2008, the Queen met an alien empire who at first seemed rather friendly. They exchanged fantastic things like very high-tech alien weaponry like the Morning Star, and in return, the Queen donated them a large supply of tea as a way of saying, hello, 
welcome. However, sadly, the Queen decided to give the aliens a bit of Yorkshire tea gold tea, as we know the single greatest beverage in the entire universe. The aliens discovering the Yorkshire tea gold suddenly decided that they'd need to invade Yorkshire and have it all for themselves. So, naturally, the Queen took it upon herself to defend Yorkshire. She discovered this glorious exploit herself, sent it to me, and we decided to refine it to the point where the Queen herself was able to stack a simple musket she found in the British Museum to the point where it had the ability to shoot across the entire universe and shatter the alien's home planet in half. Upon doing this, the alien invasion was immediately stopped and they decided to go home and reassess the situation. And the Queen was heralded as a hero. However, not wanting to be known as the hero who saved literally everyone, the Queen decided to instead rebrand all of the news reports as an episode of Doctor Who, so that none of us would notice. But don't worry, Queenie, I know. Now make sure to be careful when doing this exploit, because this is a very special gun. This gun has voice lines for basically everything. This gun will berate you for killing someone, this gun will annoy you for simply reloading. Anything you do, this gun will be shouting a load of abuse at you. Now if you manage to do this exploit and stack this effect, and shoot using the Morning Star, the voice cue for this gun will simply fire for the same amount of times that you've done this exploit. Meaning if you've managed to sit down and grind 500 times, stacking up the damage of the level 1 gun, making it god tier, and you accidentally leave voice volume set to, I don't know, a normal level like 5, then you will have your eardrums ruptured by the screaming noises of this weapon. I could turn it on for you, the lovely ladies and gentlemen at home, but be warned, this is going to be very loud. Right, ladies and gentlemen, just for you, for one time only, we're going to turn up the dialogue volume. Get ready. Oh, thank God that's over. My goodness, that was loud. I'm so sorry for all of you at home who've been spooked by that. My goodness. Oh, what a noise. Anyway, we've now managed to hit the point where our guns are doing about 300,000 damage of each shot. Remember, a normal headshot from this gun should only be 4,000. Yet here we are, pushing the boundaries out just a little bit too far, some might say. But honestly, it's just for the glorious success of the Empire in the end. I often get asked if I have exploits like this for real life, and I must say, whew, the only people who can be trusted with real life exploits are simply the Queen and myself, because otherwise, you never know what's going to happen. But if you do want a couple of real life exploits of your own, then I'm sure we can insert a bit of Spivco merchandise to add plus one to every single attribute you have. Speaking of attributes, I was always wondering if maybe I should bring back 100 Statman, which many of you regard to be one of the greatest series of the entire internet. Of course, as we have quite a br large brand new audience, I always wonder how 100 Statman would do. It's basically a fantastical, wonderful adventure where you simply ruin the entire universe with a completely overpowered character. However, one that also has to go through the everyday struggles of life, like for example discovering that your child is actually also the son of Satan. You know, just those classical things that you encounter in CK2. And if you guys are interested in bringing back 100 Statman, give me a shout because I managed to get the game to work again, so it would be good fun. Now in the spawn area there's a very special little box. This is called the Golden Chest. Now when you start the game you basically have 10 golden keys to work with, and if you play the game for a second time you'll get given an additional 10. Now the Golden Chest basically basically drops a purple rare high level weapon which scales to whatever level the player currently is at. So if you're level 24 it will give you an exceedingly powerful level 24 gun. Now many people don't like to open this crate because you know you only have one golden key or ten. You want to save it for a time when you're really struggling. However ladies and gentlemen really you can get that number up to 200 quite happily. I'm going to include a link into the description which basically you can follow through to the wiki and it will provide you with a ton of codes which will give you a ridiculous amount of loot for this game as well as around about 200 golden keys. Basically they're codes which the game had for limited time offers and then just forgot to turn off. Meaning you can open this golden crate multiple times per level to get the single greatest weapon your level can possibly give you. Now that's one way to certainly cheese through the game. Of course however you could just get yourself the morning star and cheese the game that way. That also works. You know let's open one now. Or what do we get a grenade that does 2,000 damage. My goodness, that looks fantastic. Goodbye, boring grenade, which only did 1,000. Pathetic numbers. Now we do so much more. 
we've now hit the point where we're doing half a million damage to these lovely little enemies. My goodness, I feel quite sorry for the target practice dummy because, because we've gone from filling them with hardly any damage to the point where we're accidentally effectively shooting through the entirety of reality. It just kind of makes our job all that little bit easier. Now, if you actually have, say, I don't know, limited slots and you don't want the Morning Star filling up your inventory, don't worry, you can put it away. You're still going to get the ridiculously overpowered modifier. Let's demonstrate just how crazy this modifier is. So over here I have a weapon which does 152 damage. Nothing too crazy, nowhere near as powerful as this sniper rifle, however it's an assault rifle meaning it can shoot much much faster, and so if we can get the damage output to be rather high, then we're going to be in a happy situation where we should be able to mow down all of the enemies of our level. Bearing in mind most of the enemies of our level have around about 5000 health maximum, so assault rifle, what can you do? Ah, 51,000 damage a hit. Oh, and you can shoot quite quickly, can't you? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, those are some good numbers to see. Right, you know what? I do believe I'm rather happy with what we've managed to achieve here today. We've managed to boost our level up exceedingly high to the point where our guns are going to do some pretty crazy amounts of damage against some comparatively rather weak enemies, which is basically going to make the next few levels of our game exceedingly easy to do. Now, another fun exploit, which I literally just discovered moments ago is that you can fire and drop a rocket at the same time and for some reason it doesn't lose any ammunition meaning you can just plow away a load of rockets pick it up again and suddenly bam full ammo so you shoot drop and then pick up again and would you look at that it's like we didn't even shoot a rocket now in a game where ammunition can get rather expensive especially rockets this is relatively useful and there we have it today ladies and gentlemen i've demonstrated to you how you can get the worst pistol and make it absolutely right the damage cap and take it from something that would take over a billion hits to kill the end game boss to something that can do it in only one. My goodness, it's absolutely fantastic and perfectly balanced as all things indeed should be. We also demonstrated to you how you can go as fast as the speed of light itself, making it impossible for the AIs to even lock onto you as you have the ability to outrun bullets. That'll serve you right, game devs, for putting bullet speed and trajectory into your game. Ha ha! And you know what? It's a little bonus exploit we even in how to get a ridiculous and unusable quantity of golden keys for your golden key chest. If you're looking for some other exploits, there are exploits online which will show you how to duplicate items and duplicate selling items and so on and so forth. So really, Borderlands 2 is the perfectly balanced game. Yes, you know what, I'll rate it 17 Yorkshire tea bags out of 20 when it comes to the perfectly balanced scale. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the Spiffing Brit, and as always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my majestic and fantastical patrons who make silly videos videos like these all the more possible. Thank you very much, you lovely people. And hey, also a thank you to each and every one of you fantastic subscribers and members of the community. You are fantastic and are the reason that we actually even produce these videos. And if you're wondering what video to watch next, then look no further than this one on screen now. It's been handpicked by myself to be right up your street. Trust me, you're gonna love it. If you enjoyed this bit of Borderlands Chaos, you're gonna love this. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit. I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye for now and have an absolutely most spiffing day. Go refill your cup of tea.